Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I uh, may as well do another um, uh, horse racing values video for today, Sunday, November 28th. I did take a look at both Del Mar and Churchill today, and there are a couple of plays that I like. Um, again, uh, this is just the result of my, you know, looking at the pick sixes as I normally would do and just kind of conveying the stray values to you. And I don't know how long I'm going to do this for, but for those of you that have been participating, I mean, I've we've been running so hot. I mean, I, I don't think it's, you know, I can't promise that it's going to continue, but all I can tell you is that I'm going to be giving you plus EV plays. Uh, if you were going to bet horses anyway, you should play them. If you weren't even going to play horses, maybe it's something to add to your gambling portfolio. Um, I'm not going to get into sheet theory or how I go about handicapping. This is literally just the purest form of this is who you're supposed to bet. Um, and that's it. Um, I, I can't control what scratches happen after I release the video or if the, you know, if the odds are, are, are worse, then obviously maybe you shouldn't bet them, but I figured I would just keep doing this and let's see what happens. Um, hope you guys appreciate this. In any case, um, I'm, I bet on S XP select. And if you want to sign up there, you can use true DFS as a promo code, or you could bet, I mean, anywhere, I mean, TVG, FanDuel, I mean, wherever you want to go. Um, so I did look at Churchill and Delmar, and there's just a couple of horses I like in both. Um, first of them at Churchill in the, uh, whoa, sorry about that. In the second race at Churchill, um, I like the one Olympic romp at 10 to one, very, very strong value. Um, should be probably, I, I would bet him even over five to one. And then if you want to use them with the second horse, you could use them with Morocco or maybe even a kind of a chalky Lord Dragon, but Olympic Romp is really the value in this race. Uh, as I said, nothing in race one, nothing in race three, um, nothing really in race four. Race five is where the other value is. And that is, um, there are three horses here. Cove Blue is really long. Best of Really is pretty long, but the, probably the best value of all of them is Pit Boss at 12 to one. So I would keep Pit Boss on top, bet him to win, maybe use him with Cove Blue and Best of Really and Exactas, maybe play him in second also. But um, I would certainly make Pit Boss the best of those three. But all three of those are good values with Pit Boss being the, I think, kind of the best value there. Uh, and that's pretty much it with respect to uh, Churchill. Everything else is either, you know, kind of chalky or just kind of impossible to make heads or tails of throughout the whole cart. So I'll just leave you with those two. Um, and the other track is Delmar that I looked at. And Delmar, likewise, I mean, majority of the card is terrible. I mean, races four through nine, it's either a wheel or just basically a chalk exacta that's coming in. So not interested. Um, but the first two races, I think, are pretty strong middling values here. Number one, uh, in the first race, number five, Warrior's Moon, um, I think is a very, very strong value. Uh, I like that a lot. I can't imagine it being eight to one, but if you get it, bet it. I would probably bet it at five to one. And then, you know, nice and nice and conveniently, the next best value I have on the whole card is probably race two, the five, uh, who's the star. Um, I think the favorites there are okay, the three and the four, but I think who's the star is the best value. And what I would do is just probably bet the double five with the five, you know, five race one, five race two, maybe bet, you know, if the five doesn't win race one, then you could press, you know, race two and bet the five to win and maybe exactly as with the three and the four, but uh, it's the five race one, the five race two. Now, if you really want, you could play a cold pick three with the one in race three. I think the one is, is very, very strong favorite. I wouldn't bet him on its own. So like, if you lose, you know, the first two races, I, you know, I don't want you to tilt and just go bet the one at six to five, or, you know, whatever he's going to be. Um, but if you want to hook them up with the first two races, you could do that. So honestly, what I would probably do is do doubles five, five, maybe a pick three, five, five, one. And then if the five loses race one, then you could play a double five, one races two to three and probably make sure to bet the five to win. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, let's just, let's keep going. I suppose, again, I can't promise you we're going to keep winning like we have, but all I can promise you is that everything I give you is going to be, you know, the result of years and years of a plus EV uh, experience. And um, uh, if you want to take advantage of it while it's still available for you to take advantage of, feel free. Uh, good luck, everybody, and have a good Sunday.